Hey, it's Josh coming to you from the RPM shop. Uh, over the course of the last, oh shoot, two months, we've had uh, quite a few customers come to us uh, via email and phone calls, social media, asking us about these new reels that we released and uh, getting a tutorial on how to tear them down, put them back together, you know, basically just uh, taking care of their, uh, their reels. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a complete breakdown of this M1. We're going to take it uh, from the from the position that it's in right here, tear it all the way down to the pinion gears, and then we're gonna put it right back together, um, you know, just to show you all the internal workings of these reels. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is take the reel hood, this front piece off, and it's just gonna unthread. So you're just gonna back these threads off, set the hood off to the side, and then you're gonna hold onto the handle, and we're gonna take this pickup pin housing off. And so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna back it off, just counterclockwise, it'll spin right off. So if you ever do break a pickup pin, you buy a new housing, thread it on there, and you're right back off of the race. It's super, super simple. So set that off to the side. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the handle off. There's a big uh, standard screwdriver bolt on, uh, on the opposite side of the handle. So just back it off. We'll thread it out. Set the bolt down. The handle will fall off now. Set it over on the side, and then what will happen is the guts of this reel will come right out of the back of this case. So you've got your push button case, and we're going to set it off to the side, and then it opens up or basically shows you all of the internal workings of this, uh, of this M1. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this main shaft out. And the way that we do that is there's a C-clip right here on the back of the shaft. We're going to push down on the spring, and then we're going to pull it off, and then that will release the spring off of the shaft. So take a set of pliers pull that C-clip off, and then set it off to the side, make sure you don't lose it, and then this shaft spring will come out as well. Then the main shaft will go out of the front of the reel, like this, so it'll come right outside of the spool, so there's the main shaft, and then there's a brass bushing that, uh, that goes around the outside of that shaft to keep it, uh, keep it centered up. Then we're just down to the gears and the anti-reverse. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the four bolts off of these saddles, and those are going to come off and then this main pinion gear will come right out. For the sake of video, I've loosened these screws up. They're going to be pretty tight, so I'd recommend you take your time. Make sure you've got the right sized uh, Phillips screwdriver. You're going to strip these screws out. Take one screw out, and then go down to the other one, back it out. Take your time, just, I mean, make sure that you, uh, that you push hard and uh, keep good friction onto those screws. And then we're going to back the other side out. So that screw's loose, and then we're going to back this screw out, and the saddle's going to come right off. So we'll set these saddles and those screws off to the side. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the screw out of the anti-reverse uh, system here. So you've got a brass axle, you've got the anti-reverse plate, and then you've also got a little washer, and they're all held in by this one Phillips screw. So we're going to back this off and pop, pull it out, and we're going to set it off to the side. If you bend the, the plate, I mean, you can replace that. They're, all of these parts and pieces are, are replaceable. That's one of the neat things and nice attributes of this M1. And you'll see how easy they go back together. Then what we're going to do is now that we've taken the saddles off, we're going to pull this pinion gear out. And you're going to see there's two brass bushings, one on one side, one on the other. And then on this anti-reverse side, there's an anti-reverse washer, which is this flat piece of steel here. And then you've also got the anti-reverse spring. Set those off to the side. And then the last thing that you've got is you've actually got the main drive gear down in the center. We're going to pull that gear out. And one thing that I do want to show you is there's a brass bushing down here in the center of this housing. That's what this main drive gear rides on. So you got to make sure that that brass bushing's in there or it's going to be really wobbly when you, when you start reeling. So at this point, we've basically torn this reel down as far as you're ever going to have to tear it down. You could pull this clip off here. There's, some, there's a red uh, washer here that controls your drag system. Don't know that you'll ever have to do that. If you do, you can pull that C clip off, pull that all out. There's an exploded view on our website and then you can get it put back together. I'm not going to go through that because I don't know that you're ever going to need to do that. The only thing that you're ever going to have to do is you may have to replace these gearing and that's why we're doing this tutorial. Now for the reassembly what we're going to do is we're going to start with the main pinion gear so we've lubed it up, we've cleaned it, you know maybe we replaced it. Um, what we're going to end up doing now is we're going to take the anti-reverse washer which is this flat piece and if you'll notice right here there's a bend in the bottom of it and then there's also a hole up in the top of it and that's exactly how it's got to go on there. So the bend is going to go in so this bend will go in towards this gear. So it's going to set in there just like that. And then you've got your spring that is, is got a bend to it. And this hook is going to go into this hole. So we're going to go around the shaft. 
and then we're going to put that hook through that hole so that's going to look just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, the brass bushings, one on one side, one on the other, and then we're going to set it right back into this housing <clears throat> and we're going to start the reassembly. So that will go back in like, well, if I would have got this brass bushing in the in the housing, then we would have been okay. So anyways, that's that's the way you're going to want to have it is just like that. So these brass bushings are down in this housing. Everything's good to go that way. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and put these saddles back on. I know that we've still got the anti reverse, but I mean, we'll get to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these saddles back on. And again, for the sake of video, I'm not going to tighten these all the way down. <clears throat> And this, this pinion gear without the main drive gear down here will move laterally. So you're going to want to keep some pressure on it, forcing it, um, you know, towards the right side of the reel. So you can see that I've got my thumb back here. Uh, and then we're going to tighten this down over that saddle. And then we'll put this other screw in. And tighten it down. And again, I'm just going to leave them loose just because you guys don't want to sit here for five minutes watching me tighten those things. So this is tight. Everything's good to go. Now what we need to do is we need to get our anti-reverse mechanism ready to be installed back in. So there's the brass piece. And I'll set this down and show you. There's the brass axle. Gosh darn it. So you've got the brass axle. Then you've got your anti-reverse plate. And you'll notice that one leg is longer than the other. You're going to put that on that axle just like that so that it rotates around and then you've got a nylon washer that you're going to put on the outside of it. So we just want to get that ready so that once we get the washer and spring in the right location we can just simply install it. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply some pressure towards the right side of the reel and then we're going to move this axle around until that washer and spring come up on, the, on a 45 or right up to the top. Now this is super important when you put this back together because if you don't put it back together right, it's not going to work. So if you notice, I've got the anti-reverse plate. There's a longer point here and a shorter point here. That's how it goes together is just like that. This longer point is going to go underneath this spring and then this shorter leg is going to go into the bend of that washer. And it has to slide in just like that. If it doesn't go in that way, it's not going to work. So what you're going to do is you're going to slide this in and then we're going to rotate that gear down slightly and then we're going to get this anti-reverse system to go back into this housing here and then we're going to tighten that screw down. That will lock everything down from, the, uh, from moving around and shifting around. So we'll tighten this screw down and again it needs to look just like this. So you've got your washer and your spring on the outside of that top anti-reverse uh, uh, plate the longer of the two legs. I've still got force on this pinion gear forcing it over because again it can slide around and if you don't have force on it, it's going to slide out and then your whole all your guts are going to fall back down. So we're forcing it that way. Then when we put this main drive gear in, that's going to pin this pinion uh, gear over so that it can't move. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the drive gear back into the center of the housing. If I can get my fingers to work right. We're going to slide that down into that housing and just make sure that those gears line up and you're just going to have to rotate it back and it's going to fall home all the way down in that housing. Now that it's in there, now you can take the pressure off of that pinion gear. It can't slide out because it's being held in there by that main drive gear. So the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to put my finger on that drive gear down in the center and then we're going to reinstall the, the main shaft. If you notice, there's flats on this shaft and there's a flat on this main drive gear. So when you put this system I, I guess I should say we need to get this brass bushing put back down into the center of the of the the spool then we're going to install this shaft and you're just going to have to rotate this around until it finds that flat and then it's going to slide in there and you're going to feel some pressure on that main drive gear on the back side which is which is totally normal and then when you've got it so that it's sticking up about that far you know that it's all the way seated because you can feel that main drive gear going forward or trying to come out the back end. Then we're going to take our main shaft spring, reinstall it, and then this is probably the scariest part, and I guess it's not scary is the wrong terminology, but it's the most dangerous part of losing parts in this whole process is this spring. You've got to compress it 
and then you've got to grab this C-clip and you've got to put it in that retainer groove in that main shaft, just like that. Make sure that you're in a place that, that I mean, if that spring goes flying off, you'll be able to find it because, uh, again, you'll lose more of them than, than, uh, than you'll keep, unfortunately. So anyways, this is all put back together the way, that, uh, the way that we wanted it. So we've got our brass bushing down the center of the spool. Everything's good to go there. Now we can put our pickup pin housing back on and that will kind of hold and tighten everything together. Then we're gonna install it back in the back of the case. And again, if you'll notice, there's a groove up here on the drag system and there's also a groove on the, the case itself. So we're gonna put it back together, make sure it's, it's solid. Make sure that the line isn't underneath this pickup pin housing, that it free spools off, which it does. And then we're gonna force this line out the front of the hood. And again, as you thread this back on, make sure that the line's not in these threads. Tighten this back down, put your handle back on. So slide it onto that, uh, that, that pinion gear. Tighten this back up, so your handle bolt, tighten it back up. And you're right back off to the races. You hit the button, make sure that the line free spools out like it does, and you're, uh, you're back to bow fishing. For other tutorials on the M1X, the Nitro, or any other questions that you have, make sure you look us up online, rpmbowfishing.com.